Buonasera a tutti da parte di BBG. Good evening. This is BBGR Italy. Let me start this session. So welcome again. I'd like to tell you about the origins of this company BBGR Italia and the reason for setting up a new company. Well, first of all, the main reasons are linked to the continuously evolving market and an increasingly demanding consumer. But let's see what we're talking about. As far as the market is concerned, uh, we are talking about the eyewear market uh, and uh, it accounts for 3 billion uh, euros uh, and 40% uh, of this uh, uh, are lenses, ophthalmic lenses, 35 million uh, uh, spectacle wearers, uh, 11,000 uh, uh, points of sale, uh, most of them are independent, so independent store, 80% of uh, the stores are independent stores in Italy, so they are not part of a chain. It is a continuously evolving market because every year we expect uh, 250,000 new spectacle wearers, uh, one out of four consumers uh, by the year 2025 uh, will be over 60 years of age and so he or she will certainly need a pair of glasses. The baby boom children, those born in the 1970s, will become 40 and they will need progressive lenses. So refractive surgery is stable, 150 surgeries per year. Uh, well, the internet uh, nowadays account uh, for a marginal share of the eyewear market, only 3% and only 1% uh, is uh, uh, for uh, prescription lenses, uh, ophthalmic lenses in other words. <coughs> As regards the consumer instead, the situation is different. Uh, here you see the data that we uh, extrapolated from a Nielsen research, we can see a polarization of consumptions. This means that we are moving towards the extremes. There are, on the one hand, consumers who are very fond of premium products, which are increasing by 48%, so excellent products, but at the same time, and on the other hand, price-sensitive consumers are increasing as well. They do not necessarily buy low-cost products, but they want to be informed about prices prior to buying a product. Other interesting statistics derived from a Nielsen research are the following. 33% of consumers before a purchase gets information online to know about the features of a specific product. So consumers tend to get information but they are not necessarily well informed. 67% of the consumers are willing to pay more for a branded product, especially if these products are healthcare related products. One consumer out of five prefer technological products or products that are linked to an international brand. 
Nikon and Galileo, for example, are connected to these two uh, values. Uh, well, uh, Nikon is an excellent uh, brand and uh, uh, Galileo is also a product uh, which is known uh, all over the world. So before these, uh, in front of these questions and vis-a-vis uh, -vis this uh, need of consumers uh, to have brands and uh, the need of distributors uh, to have uh, uh, products uh, that allow to defend uh, the value of distribution, now we decided to set up a company, BBGR, including two very strong uh, brands, uh, Galileo and Nikon. And now let me tell you something more about uh, both brands and about uh, the company. BBGR, you may know it, it is part of an international network. It is the second uh, strongest uh, player in Europe after Essilor. It has uh, 17 offices around the world, uh, 0.4 billion euros uh, uh, turnover and uh, uh, 170 years of history. This is the track record uh, uh, since the 1970s. Uh, uh, they, uh, well, the company was awarded uh, many prizes uh, and uh, these products are now sold uh, by Galileo. So to this year too, BBGR uh, won that prize with the Blue G Expert uh, technique, technology. Nikon, uh, which is going to be one of the brands uh, sold by BBGR Italy, we have uh, many things uh, to tell you about. Uh, what are the strengths of Nikon? Uh, well, products are really uh, great, uh, there's a lot of innovation, consumers are, well, are very satisfied, it is a well-known brand on the market, uh, and uh, it is an exclusive uh, brand, uh, or uh, an, a very selective uh, brand. I was uh, talking about innovation and technologies. Uh, Nikon has a research and development center based in Japan. This is a research and development activity that uh, is referred to all the uh, products uh, by Nikon, uh, telescopes, uh, photography, scanners, etc. And uh, this research and development lab uh, designs uh, products uh, that are used uh, or techniques that are used in ophthalmic uh, lenses. Uh, the very first uh, lens uh, was developed uh, in was the 1.74 with the very first uh, uh, blue light uh, treatment. One of uh, our uh, excellencies uh, is uh, uh, the blue node uh, technology. So all data are uh, sent to a data center in uh, Nikon that calculates uh, the lenses uh, by uh, customizing them uh, according to the prescription. And they are then uh, manufactured uh, at a production site uh, in Europe. Nikon consumers uh, are uh, strongly bound uh, to the brand because only 20% of consumers on average know uh, what lenses they are wearing, uh, the brand of the lens they are wearing. Uh, as for Nikon, uh, this knowledge uh, increases to 80%. Uh, and besides that, 92% uh, of Nikon consumers uh, are satisfied with uh, the uh, technology of our products. Well, I was saying that uh, Nikon is a well-known brand. Uh, Nikon uh, is one of the top uh, uh, 100 brands uh, uh, worldwide in terms of brand awareness. Uh, and uh, uh, to the brand uh, Nikon, uh, uh, positive images are associated. And on top of that, uh, um, Nikon has 14 million fans uh, on its Facebook page only in Italy. Whenever I get into an optical center, I recommend uh, that the opticians uh, uh, looks at uh, his page, uh, Facebook page, uh, and uh, the number of uh, followers uh, uh, shared with Nikon, because all these are potential consumers. As I said, Nikon is an exclusive brand. Uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, uh, there are some uh, uh, displays that help uh, uh, the optical center sell uh, Nikon products. And by the way, we offer uh, selected products. Uh, we, uh, we sign uh, an agreement uh, with the optical center whereby we undertake uh, not to sell these products in other optical center in the neighborhood. And uh, uh, well, the trial lenses is uh, one of the uh, displays that uh, uh, we use uh, to sell the value of uh, our products. Uh, and through this instrument, uh, the optician uh, can see, uh, can show the lenses to the consumer with the relevant prescription so that uh, he or she can try them uh, prior to buying them. 
As far as Galileo is concerned, it is a well-known brand with 150 years of history, of track record, so uh, since the very beginning of uh, Italy and uh, um, well it's a very successful track record uh, both for it uh, both in uh, the military field and in photography since the setup of BBGR Galileo has managed uh, to launch uh, products uh, like Sirius Plus and Atteo Intuitive and other products uh, that uh, were uh, awarded a prize uh, in the past. And these are excellent products combined uh, with a well-known brand. Please note that every time uh, studies on brand awareness uh, are conducted, Galileo is always among the top three brands in terms of brand awareness. Well, from the viewpoint of sales, Galileo has always been a proximity supplier that is, uh, Galileo offers uh, distinctive services uh, for opticians uh, and uh, uh, Galileo is well known for uh, its investments in training. The Galileo Academy is, uh, uh, by the way, uh, extremely renowned. Well, this is it as far as the two brands uh, in BBGR are concerned. But this was not enough, uh, so it was not enough to simply set up a company. It, we, uh, uh, I, we also had to change the organization uh, uh, of uh, BBGR Italy, and that's the reason why we added uh, some uh, uh, new resources. Uh, Maurizio Benfanti, for example, business development manager, because our aim is that of uh, increasing the efficiency of our go-to-market. That is the way we want to be present on the market. Uh, the way we want to provide the services to optical centers. Then we have the key account manager, Sara Sevai, who uh, uh, already worked in the company, but now she is not only uh, in charge of key accounts, uh, but uh, she will also be in charge of uh, preserving the Nikon brand, uh, of retaining the Nikon brand from a commercial viewpoint. In other words, uh, we do not want uh, to uh, disseminate the brand too much in Italy, um, except for the selected optical centers. We mentioned uh, two very important brands, and for this reason, uh, it was necessary to strengthen uh, the brands uh, in the BBGR group. And uh, for this reason, uh, we now have a marketing manager dedicated to the world of BBGR. We've come to Mido with uh, innovations, uh, both uh, uh, for Galileo and for Nikon. As for Galileo, Sorry, there, there is a video, I don't know if you can show the film. We launched a progressive lens, it is called... This is, uh, as I said, uh, the new progressive lens uh, that we launched uh, here at Mito. It's a new generation progressive lens uh, with uh, a new visual field, uh, both for the intermediate and uh, for the near field, uh, and uh, dynamic vision. If you wish uh, to see it uh, uh, more in detail, you can go and visit our stand. As for Nikon, we also have a video here.
this is a coating that uh, only Nikon is offering right now on the market. It is an anti-reflex coating that increases the contrast. So it basically allows uh, uh, to see colors better. It is uh, recommended uh, for people over 40 years of age. Uh, the lens uh, becomes yellowish and you lose uh, uh, a bit of sensitivity. Uh, we also organized uh, some focus groups with the consumers uh, and uh, the level of satisfaction was also very uh, high. So I also recommend that uh, you go and see our stand uh, if you wish to uh, know something more about uh, this product. Uh, you can talk to our technicians. Uh, so what is uh, this new B BGR Italy? It is basically a company enshrining two very famous, very important uh, uh, brands uh, with uh, great values, uh, very diversified, uh, that can uh, fulfill uh, the different needs of consumers uh, and optical need and optical need and optical centers. Uh, Nikon has uh, uh, is the high end uh, uh, of the market uh, and provides uh, uh, visibility instruments and uh, added value uh, services. Galileo is an accessible product with a very high performance. Uh, it is a well-known Italian brand and uh, uh, also has uh, marketing activities uh, dedicated to attracting consumers. Again, the idea is to provide uh, opticians with two very important brands uh, so that they can retain their margins and their value. Thank you very much and I wish you a pleasant evening. Se ci sono delle domande. I don't know if you have any questions. I livelli di prezzo in termini percentuali, visto. Well, percentage wise, uh, uh, what are the prices? Because Nikon is uh, the high end product uh, and uh, Galileo is uh, the medium range uh, product, despite of. Uh, the uh, very good reputation of the product. What can you tell us about uh, the prices and the difference? Well, there is a 15% price difference between the two brands. Non la conosco. Ci sono altre domande? Any other questions? Se non ci sono altre domande, c'è if there are no further questions, so there is a cocktail at the back of the room and uh, during the cocktail we may answer any questions that you have. Well, the uh, resources you saw are in charge uh, both of Nikon and uh, of Galileo, so the marketing manager will be in charge of uh, Galileo and Nikon too. Also because Nikon is distributed in a very selective way, so it cannot be, uh, it is not accessible to purchasing groups or chains. It is dedicated to uh, individual stores. Okay, let's have a drink together. Thank you very much and have a nice evening.